These are a few slides to talk about the CAD Solus version 3 PCA pump. The objectives are to explain the purpose of PCA, patient-controlled analgesia, review the policy, discuss the documentation associated with the IV narcotic PCA intervention. And we'll go over all these things in our small group. Important points, of course, safety first. Patients must be assessed to determine if they're appropriate candidates for PCA. Not everybody can have the therapy. You have to be cognitively intact and be able to make decisions for yourself. Only the patient can press the PCA button. You must discourage staff and family members from pressing the button for the patient. That's how the patients become overdosed and it becomes a safety issue. Important points to review as you're reviewing these documents. Uh, you want to make sure you read the policy. You want to look through the cheat sheet, which will give you all the important points in terms of monitoring and the secret code, how to get into the pump. Um, the intervention, always make sure that you activate the intervention. You'll have to just remember to do that. It doesn't automatically pop up. Remember to sedation always precedes respiratory depression. And we'll go over the Pacero opioid sedation scale. And that PCA is considered a high alert medication. So at every handoff and with every dose change, you should have two RNs doing an independent double check just to make sure that everything is correct. You'll also be asked in the intervention to document some information from the reports in the pump. And we'll go through that too. And I have the instructions on this slide as to how to do that. So in summary, PCA is a technique for managing acute or cancer pain. PCA offers patients a sense of control over their pain, but not every patient is a candidate for the therapy. PCA requires two RNs when programming and when changing the prescription. And always remember for any opioid administration, sedation precedes respiratory depression. So remember to use the POS scale before the administration of opioids.